Hey guys, it's Bethany with ABQ Creations here with another tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Leah pullover. I absolutely love the open stitch. Obviously, I've been using it a lot lately. It reminds me of a cross between my fall into summer shawl series and my Addison pullover. Some of you might remember that from last time. I took it a step further this time. I cut off the sleeves and kept it nice and short, and I added a hood. If you guys like this project, make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay up to date on all of my current projects and tutorials. I ended up using some worsted weight cotton yarn in the peaches and cream collection. I ended up using a cone, so you might need more or less depending on how big you or small you want this to fit. I also ended up using a crochet hook in size 6.5 millimeters. I used some stitch markers to help me when I was stitching up the sides and up on the shoulder some scissors to cut off my tail, and a needle for weaving in my ends. Let's get started. To get started with our project, we're going to have to do some chainless foundation stitches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 92 double crochet chainless foundation stitches. So in order to do that, I'm gonna loosen this up just a little bit. I'm going to chain three. I'm going to yarn over and insert down into the first chain. And then I'm going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. This will give us a stretchier look to our work. And I apologize, I'm working with white. I already worked up one of these panels in this color I wanted to do a cute cover up in it so we're gonna see how this goes if it's really bothersome or you can't see please let me know down in the comments below um, if you like it if everything's fine let me know that too and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date I do try to come out with different tutorials as often as I can whether it's pattern tutorials or stitch tutorials okay so again we're gonna go through one then two then three and you can see we have three stitches to our row and we need to have 92 of them. So we're gonna go back through, insert our hook down here, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Continue this pattern until you have 92 stitches. Okay, so after you have your foundation row and it's in multiples of four, you don't necessarily have to have 92. I like mine extra big. Um, for reference, I wear about a small medium, but I wanted a little bit um, baggy for my cover-up. So that's, that's why I have 92 stitches. You can make it smaller, but remember, you're going to have to make two of these panels. One is for the front and one is for the back. So as soon as you complete this one, you'll have to make a second panel. All right, so for our second row, we're going to chain two turn our work and this is where we're going to do our row of ribbing. I only did one row, you can do more if you want. We skip this first stitch and we're going to do a double a front post double crochet into that second stitch. We're going to follow that up with a back post double crochet and again we're going to do a front post double crochet. We're just going to keep alternating with our front post and back post double crochets until the end of the row. Go ahead and complete that and I will meet back with you once it's done. Okay, so I'm coming up on the last couple of stitches and I need to do a back post double crochet and finish with my front post double crochet. Okay, this is the only row of ribbing that I did. You can continue on and do more. If you wanna do more, you're gonna chain two, you're gonna turn your work, and you're gonna skip the first stitch every single time, and you're always gonna start with the front post double crochet here. Where the stitches are pointing towards you, you'll do um, a front post double crochet, and where they're away from you, you're going to do a back post double crochet. So every single row. 
So if you get confused on what you have to do first, just look at how the stitch is held, and if it's towards you, do a, a front post double crochet. Okay, so we are not doing any more of that. So instead, for our pattern, we need to start this next row by chaining six. And I like to do the first three a little bit looser. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're going to turn our work. And we are going to yarn over twice because we're going to do a treble crochet. So we're going to skip the first, second, third stitch and into the fourth we're going to work a treble crochet. And we're going to chain three, yarn over twice, skip the next three stitches and into the fourth we're going to work a treble crochet. Now this pattern of this body is exactly the same as my Addison pullover, so you'll notice that, but there will be some differences in here, so stay tuned to kind of see what we do a little bit differently on this one. I won't do the long sleeves, and um, we might have one or two other changes. We'll see. So continue on for the rest of the row doing the same pattern. We're going to chain three, and then skip three, and do a treble crochet into the fourth. So continue that on and I will meet back with you at the end of the row. This is what I have so far. I've just done my last chain three. I'm skipping three and then in the top of our chain two, that is where we need to insert our hook and do our final treble crochet. Okay, again we're going to chain six. Now this is where your pattern is going to repeat. So this is what you're going to do for however many rows you want to do. I'm doing 20 of these rows total. This counted as our first one. So I'm going to do 19 more, but the next 19 will be exactly the same as this one. So we're going to kind of pull up a little bit and do um, six chains. So one, two, three, four, oops, five, six. We're going to turn our work. Now this time, because it's set up a little bit differently, we're going to work into the top of our treble crochets. So we're going to yarn over twice, and in our treble crochet we're going to do another treble crochet. We're going to chain three, yarn over twice, and do a treble crochet into the top of the next treble crochet. And that's the pattern that we want to continue all the way across. So go ahead and chain three, do your next treble crochet, and continue that all the way across and I'll meet back with you when we work into our chain of six. Okay, I'm up to the end here and I have the last six chains to work into, so I'm going to chain three, yarn over twice, and our treble crochet is, we're going to skip one, two, three, we're going to work into this fourth chain, so the third one up if that's easier for you to count, but we're always going to work into that stitch at the very end of our rows, and we're going to do our treble crochet. You'll notice that kind of pulls it out and makes this box and so it matches the rest of the pattern. So again, we're going to start our new row and we're always going to start with chaining six and then we're going to always start working into the tops of our treble crochet. So all you have to do is repeat that last row for as long as you want it. Again, I'm doing now 18 more rows. I have two done. I'm going to do 18 more of these and then I'll come back and I'll show you how we do our join. Okay, so I have worked up both of the bodies of the sweater and now I am getting ready to join them. So when you lay them out, down here is my base, and I'm going to place the other one on top of this, and I'm going to stitch them together. I, I left my yarn on my hook instead of cutting it off because when I join, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to take the corner of the other 
panel and I'm going to stitch them together. So I'm gonna line them up and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I stitch them together. But they're just gonna, you line up your base with your base, the bottom of your sweater, like your hem. You're gonna join those up and then you're going to just join your corners and work across. And then you're, you're going to leave it as open as you want it to be. I kind of like a nice big open neck. That's kind of what I've been into lately. Okay, so here's my upper right corner. So I'm going to take this and I'm gonna count up till that third stitch, just like, um, because we have that chain of six here on the corner. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then into the fourth. We're going to work so that we've got our top three here. We're gonna work into this one here. And that's the fourth chain up. So I've chained one on this first panel and I'm going to enter in through the top of this stitch again. And then I'm going to join, like I said, to that fourth stitch. You simply yarn over and we're gonna do a single crochet all the way across or not all the way across, I'm sorry, up until you want your neck opening. So the way that it's gonna be, because it's a wide sweater, you're going to stitch from here as far as you want, and then you're gonna leave a space here and you're gonna have to cut off your yarn and then you're gonna have to join the other side of your neck. So if that doesn't make sense, let me know in the comments down below. I will try to explain it to you better or direct you to um, another tutorial where I have it laid out. Here's our first single crochet in the corner. You can see how the boxes are matching up now. And we're just going to do two single crochets in each big loop. I know you have three chain spaces, but the single crochets add a lot of extra bulk, and if we can minimize that, we want to. We're going to insert into the top of our treble crochets. And we're going to pull up a loop and join those. And then again, you're just going to keep doing two single crochets in the chain spaces. And then you're going to work through the top of your treble crochets to join. So do this as far as you want the neck opening. You can make it as big or as small as you'd like. Just remember to leave a neck opening so that you can get this over your head. Okay, so I finished up both my panels and I started to stitch together the seam along the neck on one side. So I kept my yarn on my hook and then I chained one and then I worked through the top of the treble crochet on this post as well as the treble crochet on the second panel. So there, I just pieced them, I, I laid one right on top of the other and I'm working across. Now I want to stop at this point for my neck so I wanted to show you how many posts, how far I went, but then I also worked, I worked a single crochet at the top here through both of the treble crochets and then I just worked in the chain spaces here and I did two single crochets um, and then again a single crochet into the top of both of the treble crochets. You insert your hook through both of them, pull up a loop and then do your single crochet. And I'll show you on the other side. I just wanted to show you how far we're going with the neck. So I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, onto the eighth post of my work, and I feel like that'll leave it just big enough without being too big. And then I'm gonna work the exact same on the opposite side. You can see this is where I'll have to cut off my yarn and weave in that end. But I'm going to attach here, and I'm gonna work into the fourth post, or the fourth chain stitch up and into the top of this treble crochet. So I'm gonna join those, and then I'm gonna work back this way. I put a stitch marker into the eighth stitch, or the eighth post, I'm sorry, so that I don't um, work it up too far or too short. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. So you can see I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm inserting my hook into the fourth stitch, the fourth chain, as well as the top of my treble crochet. And so we're just gonna pull up our loop. 
and I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to tie off that end so it doesn't come undone. Okay. So now I'm going to do a single crochet, I'm sorry, two single crochets right into this chain space here. Let me see if I can get the back. And then we're going to work into each of the treble crochets. So continue this for as long as you want the neck. Make sure you leave that opening. Um, just like I showed you, I'm going to the eighth post out. Because I did that on the other side, I stitched, you can see, all the way to the eighth post and then there's my neck opening. So go ahead and do that and then I will meet back with you to show you the sleeves. We have to seam up the side and then we'll do sleeves and then we're going to add a hood to this thing, which is optional. Guys, this sweater is taking shape and it is cute. I am so excited. Okay, so I just finished this sleeve and I worked up and I'm going to show you how I do it on the other side. I haven't done that side yet, but I wanted to show you what it's going to start to look like. Um, you're basically going to make your cuff and that's going to be your whole sleeve. So, and then I joined, I stitched all the way up until I was far enough to leave enough space for my arm to fit through. I wanted mine a little more fitted, so it's going to fit right around my arm without being too tight. But you might want it a little bit looser and that's okay. So just kind of figure out, you know, stick your arm in, practice, and go all the way up and see how far you can fit it and see where you're comfortable. If you want it extra baggy or extra large, you can go way down. You can do whatever you want. You can leave the cuffs off, totally up to you. So I went ahead and I marked on my other side, here's the neck opening and the shoulder. So on the other side I marked where I wanted the sleeve to start so I don't crochet too far and close up that hole. So now we have to work up from our hem. And I'm trying to use a, a darker background for this part just because I think it's a little easier to see against the white yarn. So you line up your hem and I'm going to weave in all these at the very end. But oh my gosh you guys I'm so excited about this project. I'm going to be wearing this all summer. Okay, so I'm taking my yarn and again I'm going to attach it so I go through the first part, um, the first panel, and I have to attach to the second panel. So I'm going to go into the bottom of that chain. For the first one we're just going to chain one and then I'll tie it off. And now we're just going to single crochet all the way up to our stitch marker. So just find your place. You can space them out a little bit, but you kind of want to just insert your hook and figure out where your stitches can go. All right, now for each of these, when I get to our chain spaces on the side, I'm just going to do two single crochets, just like we did on the neck. And I'm not going to crochet too tightly. I kind of want to keep it a little loose so there's some stretch and wiggle room. I don't want it bunching up on the sides. So again, just try to be conscientious of that. And then work into the side of these treble crochets or the chains. So continue up and then I will show you how to do the sleeves once we get there. Okay, so once you stitch up as far as you want up the side, then we're going to start our cuff. So for this, I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to double crochet, so you have to open up your sleeve, but I'm going to just be double crocheting all the way around for this first round. So we're going to do two double crochets into our chain spaces because we don't want to bulk up too much. This will make it just right. 
and then we're going to work one into the side of each of these stitches. Go ahead and work that and I will meet you up, or I will meet up with you at the end of the round. Um, also when you get to the top where you have your join, you're just going to work a stitch, you're going to have to find a way to work a stitch in through the top here. So you work up and you'll do two double crochets here and then you work one into the very top and then you're going to work two into the side. So you're not, I'm, I don't stack it with stitches right on the corner here. I just do one. I've finished up the row and now we have to join to the beginning. So we're going to do a slip stitch right into the top of our chain two. And from here, we're going to chain two. And we're going to do this for each row of ribbing that you want to do. I believe I ended up doing three or four of them after this point. So I think I think I did three rows of the actual ribbing. So I had one row of the double crochet and then three of the ribbing. So I'll show you how to do that and then you just have to do it for as many rows as you want. So we're going to do a front post double crochet into this second stitch. We're going to skip the chain two. We're always skipping the chain two. And you'll see that it'll kind of look like it fits in with the ribbing anyway. So we're going to do a front post double crochet, and then we're going to do a back post double crochet, just like our ribbing down by our hem. And we're going to continue on with that same concept. So just keep alternating between front post double crochets and back post double crochets. And then I'll meet back with you at the end. Okay, so I finished with a front post double crochet, and now I'm going to do a slip stitch into the top of the chain two, and we're going to repeat that round, like I said, for as many rounds as you would like. It all depends on how long you want your sleeve or the cuff to be. So finish that up, and then I'll meet back with you to show you how we do the hood. I think it's going to look just adorable. I'm excited to see how it turns out. I finished both my sleeves and that's how they look. Uh, now I'm going to work on the hood. It's not going to be a functional hood, but I think it is going to be so adorable. I hope it turns out. So this is how we're going to work up the hood for this. Now a hood is really just a rectangle. So we're going to work up a rectangle for this, but I want it to crisscross over in the front. So look over your sweater. I turned it right side out so my seam is now on the inside. You can see my single crochets. So turn your sweater right side out. And then for this, <clears throat> look over your sweater. If there's a side that you prefer for the front, I mean, they're gonna look the same, but if you made a mistake or whatever, if you like one side better than the other, then that will be your front. Without the hood, there's no front or back. You can do whatever you want. With the hood, it's gonna have to face one way. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start here and work our hood all the way around and then finish it over here. So it's going to be a long rectangle, but it's going to give us a really cute style. I think it's going to kind of crisscross through the front because both panels will come like this and then they'll open up. Um, but I'll, I'll show you as we get going. Okay, so for this method to work, we need to start over by the shoulder and we're going to insert our hook just in this front post. So you see how there's a front post and a back post? For this front of the side, we're going to work in the front post only as we come around. Okay, so what we want to do is work this same pattern of our body all the way up for our hood. But instead of working into both loops, we're going to work into this front loop only. And then we'll chain and then we'll work into the front loop only. And I'll show you why when we come back around, because we'll have to work into the back of it for the other part of the hood. Okay, so we're gonna chain, we're gonna have to chain six. I'm just gonna start with chaining one so I can tie my knot and move on to the other chains. Oh, I'm so excited about this hood, guys going to be funny if it doesn't turn out the way I have it pictured in my mind. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
and then again we're going to yarn over twice to do our treble crochet again instead of working through both we're just going to work through this front loop right there and then complete your treble crochet so keep up the pattern from the body but just work into the front loop only until you get to the shoulder once you get to the shoulder here you're going to finish your in the front here on this side and then when you chain your three and connect here you can go through both loops on the back that'll be fine so just work your pattern all the way around and i'll show you what we do when we get back to this point okay so i've worked around the back here's the row that i've added and i'm coming up to where we worked in the front post only so now i've got my chain three on and we are not connecting to this stitch Instead, we're gonna work behind it, and we're gonna work into that back row. So I'm gonna do a, a treble crochet, and into that back loop, I'm going to connect. So I'll show you that again. We're gonna chain three. We're going to work behind the row that we just put in. I know it sounds a little crazy. Stick with me though. Okay, and then in this back loop, that's where we're gonna work our treble crochet. So I hope you guys can all see this and I hope I'm explaining it. If not, let me know in the comments down below and I will try my best to help you out with this. You're gonna have to be really careful while you're working around because some of your work can kind of just come together and look like a big blob. We don't want that. Okay. So we're just going to keep working like that until we get to the other shoulder again where we were able to work through both loops. Um, we're going to work up to that point. I just finished up the rest of that front of the sweater. So you can see we kind of have this double row going now. So instead of chaining three and continuing on, this is what we're gonna do now. We want to chain our six. We're gonna turn our work. And now we're gonna work back and forth, just like we did with the body. It's gonna look a little weird at first, but the more that you work it up, the taller you make your hood, the easier it'll become to see the rectangle that we're making. So just keep working back and forth all the way around. I'm going to work up several rows and then I will show you exactly what it looks like. But you're just, again, you're just keeping the pattern. So you're going to work around this, if you can picture this. So we're going to work all the way back and then once we get to here, where it splits, you just keep working. And then when you get to the end of the round, which is right here where our first chain six was, you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna chain six, turn your work, work all the way around, and then chain six, work back around, and just keep going like that until the hood is as high as we need it. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I have just finished 19, yes, you heard that right, 19 rows of this repeat for my hood. It's almost as big as the sweater itself. So just beware, you do have to build up quite a bit if you want the dramatic look, which my boyfriend tells me you should go for the dramatic look and make a nice big hood. So, you can see where it crisscrosses here at the neck and then you're left with your big rectangle. And I left my end in here. Okay, and then here's the other corner. So what we need to do is we need to join these at the top. And that means that we wanna take the end that we were working on and we wanna join it with the corner up here. We wanna take these two and join them together. And then we're gonna stitch down here. However, if we stitch it like this because we turned it right side out, guess what? Our seam is going to be on the outside, so you have to be very careful with this. 
Right now, all my seams are in the inside of my sweater. So, to take care of this issue, we need to actually join it as if we want the opening to be at the back. So it's going to look like this, which is going to be weird because, you know, we're not using our back towards the front of our sweater. We're using it the other way. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to join this and then we can flip it inside out. And it's that simple. That is what we're going to do for our hood. So here I'm going to set down that corner. I'm going to tighten down my loop. Okay. So now I'm going to start by chaining one. And again, we were working up this way. We've been going back and forth this way. Now we're going to go down the side of it and connect to each other. So I'm going to insert my hook into the top of this treble crochet. And you guessed it, we're going to connect into this fourth chain here. So not one, two, three, four. Four. Okay, so we're going to insert our hook, we're going to pull up that loop, and do a single crochet. We're going to work all the way across like this. So again, we're going to continue our pattern. We're going to do two single crochets for every chain space we come to. And then on the sides here, we're going to connect these guys with a single crochet. Let me see if I can kind of move this stuff in the background. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we're coming up to another chain space. So we're going to insert our hook and do two single crochets. And we're going to keep going like that until we are completely caught up with our ends. Okay, we're coming up to the end here and I wanted to show you how we're going to join this corner. Because there's this little point already and we just joined at a secure location, I'm not going to join here as well. I kind of want to just keep the look uniform and I don't want to add any extra unnecessarily bulk. So I'm going to chain one to close that off, cut off my end, and we're going to weave in our tail. now. Once all your tails are woven in, all you have to do is take your hood and flip it right side out. And check that out. Now you have your hood. It is complete. Good job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really had fun with this one. I am going to wear the heck out of this at the pool. I think it is an amazing pullover, and I just love the dramatic hood. I would say my boyfriend is right. So I would highly recommend this one to you. You guys can leave the hood off. I love how easy these are to customize. So again, it's totally up to you. But thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And you can stay up to date on all of my current patterns and tutorials. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.